You better get going. Try not to get eaten. If it is safe, the miners can return to work. I bet their first task will be cleaning up the entrails the last shift left behind. I can't imagine why she'd leave you. You're such a prize. There is no chance of finding Meren alive, or any of the others. If they're not dead, watch out for a bunch of boneless women flopping through the streets. Show some respect. Nothing like a bit of fear with your wine. It's good I can still take pleasure in the small things. You could have offered me a glass first, you know. Don't worry. Helping people and killing people are what I'm best at. Uh... I, I uh... hope there will be no call to kill anyone, Sarah. So, you think the Templars... what? Killed and ate your brother? Maker forbid. I thought Templars only treated mages this badly. Nice to see you're branching out. They were last seen together at the Blooming Rose. But I had no luck interrogating the, uh, young ladies there. I doubt they know anything of magic or demons. I'd be willing to search there. Do your clients like this charade? It must get dreadfully tiresome. As charming and relentless as you are, I'm here to investigate. Good to know you're barking mad. That makes things easier. I'm not expecting tea and cakes. I just need to see someone. A dragon fell from the sky, charred some darkspawn, then asked me to bring you this amulet. No big deal. I miss the cold and the dirt. Kirkwall's not brown enough for me. But hey, no darkspawn. Ferelden wasn't that brown. The dirt and muck gave it character. Please, keep turning skeletons into toads for us. But I never... Uh... Right, not literally. Happy to help. Sundermount seems very mountainous today, doesn't it? Lots of rock and hillside. But the Dalish are delightful. I was just thinking of inviting the whole clan over for tea. I'm sure they'd never accept in a... Oh. Right. Sarcasm. <clears throat> sure, demons are very helpful. Right up until they take your mind and turn you into a monster. No one wanted to buy it. Maybe because it had a witch inside. Working your way up will be fun. All right, that was a lie. It won't be fun. It's cozy. And your furry friends are charming. Boom! He's always been this way. Always collecting things and enchanting them. Strange, I suppose. Perhaps he'll be the first Dwarven Mage. Wouldn't that be interesting? I don't like where this is heading. We just got word they pulled some girl from the Circle. Her sister, I think. My sister's a sanctimonious prig. I'm better off without her. You were the upstanding citizen begging coins to get your next flask of lyrium. It's a long time since anyone could get under my skin with that. I know what I am. I just wanted to see Meredith out in her ass, like she did to me. Meredith does seem to have a serious case of the crazies, yes. What do I care for Meredith? I'm here for the champion. I've been wondering when you'd come back to bite me in the ass. What happened? The last thing I remember is these Templars coming into my quarters. I thought you were better than this. A couple of lousy Templars and you're down. Replicas of the sort Archon Hussarian used to kill Andraste. This one looks finely crafted. So they sell these things at every market stand in Minrathus? You hear that? They're after us. For our blood. But why? Crazy people like blood. A lot. The Carter doesn't normally act like this. They're businessmen. I'd like to know who this Corypheus is. With a name like that, he's bound to go mwahaha at some point. I just know it. And really? More blood? Why can't it ever be spit or, or a lock of hair? You really want to encounter a spit mage? For variety, sure. 
Forgive me. I should introduce myself properly. My name is Nancio Caldera Lanos. I am a noble from the beautiful country of Antiva. It must have taken a lot of practice to say that all in one breath. You want me to use my wily, wily ways to find out where the Dalish are hiding this elf. He said there would be people looking for him, and to tell anyone who asked where he was. I thought the point of hiding was not to be found. In fact, if you were a crow, you might make a fortune bringing me in. <laughs> you should consider a career change. <laughs> no, really. I thought you'd be taller. Did he tell you he was a lawman from Antiva, charged with apprehending a ridiculously handsome fugitive? He also said you were a wanted murderer. I let your assassin go. Was I not supposed to do that? You had him? And you let him go? They insist on thinking they can kill people like you and the Warden. <laughs> I will never guess. Let me tell you, it's a burden I bear on a daily basis. I think that's all of them. For the moment, make us save us. We've lost it all. Everything your father and I built. At least we're alive. That's no small feat. Yes. You're right. We should have run sooner. Why did we wait so long? Why are you looking at us? We've been running since Ostagar. Not to interrupt, but the Blight's not going to wait while we stand here pointing fingers. Where are we going? Away from the Darkspawn. Where else? And then where? We can't just wander aimlessly. So long as we wander aimlessly away from the Horde, I'm happy. The wrath of the Templars is terrible indeed. More so their wives. My, but that is quite the voyage you plan. Your king will not miss you, hmm? I'm sure he'll miss his life more. <laughs> oh, you I like.